Welcome to the third Quick Surface Getting Started tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create a basic prismatic part. To begin, we will load in our basic part from the example menu, which comes with the installation of the software. We do this by going to Help, Examples, and clicking on Basic Part. With the mesh loaded in, our first step is to align it. If we show the coordinate system, we can see that it is not aligned. To align it, we simply need to extract aligning primitives, which we do by going to Extract Primitives and using the Segmentation tool to find where our primitives need to be. The first primitive we need to extract is this cylinder. Click Create and Stay. Then, this side plane Again, click Create and Stay, and finally, this bottom plane. We can click Create. Now, using the Align by Coordinate System tool, we simply click on our geometries, and the software will define a new coordinate system. Click Apply, and if we show the coordinate system again, we can see that it is aligned. We don't need our aligning primitives anymore, so we can simply hide them. To create our main body, we will use a 2D sketch tool so we can create a revolved surface. Click 2D sketch and change it to full revolved surface. Now, move the arrow anywhere along the body. For example, at this point, click Create. Now, using the Extract Primitives tool, we can use Fit Line and drag over the parts which we want to extract. If we want, we can decrease or increase the brush size. With our lines created, we can click back and simply click the auto join button. As you can see, the software will join all of our lines. Now, to create our full geometry, we want to move this line so it reaches the revolving line, like so. Click OK, and as you can see, your sketch is defined. Click on our sketch and we can click the revolve button. As you can see, the software has automatically created a revolved body. We can click OK. Now, since we only want this part of the revolved body, we can use the trimming tool. As we did before, go to Extract Primitives and use this side plane. We can click Create. With our two planes, we can hold the control key, select both, and use the trim tool. Now, we can simply click on the parts we want to remove, like so. If you mess up, you can simply reset the trim. Now, our main body is complete. The next step is to remove this slot. To do this, we will again go to Extract Primitives and create a plane on this slot area. We can click Create. From this plane, we can create a 2D sketch and move it so it reaches a nice slot area. Click Create, and like we did with the other, we can go to Extract Primitives and use the Fit slot. As you can see, the software has created the slot. However, to create a good cut from our main body, we need to move this down. To do this, 
click back and simply drag the slot down. We can click OK. Now, clicking on our sketch, we can use the extrude tool and use the snapping tool. By holding our arrow and simply dragging it to the plane, it will snap to that plane. The other arrow we can move as far away as we want. Now we have both of our solids created and the last step is to simply cut them. First, select the large tool and click the cut button. From here, select our other body and the software will automatically cut it. Click OK. Now, if we hide our mesh, we can see that our body is created. If we want to look at it even more, we can turn on the environment map and look at it. Your CAD model is now complete and is ready to be used. Thank you for watching.